Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, well, my name is Donna. I hope you enjoy and stick around. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my newest jewelry piece. And it's a David Yerman piece, so I just can't wait for you guys to see. So without further ado, let's get started. So for those of you who aren't very familiar with David Yerman, David Yerman is an American luxury jewelry designer. He, Mr. David Yerman himself, a sculptor, and his wife Sybil Yerman, an artist, they founded the company in the 80s in New York City. So their goal when creating this jewelry line was to create beautiful kind of artwork pieces or objects that people can wear, and that's exactly what they did. The jeweler, their jewelry, their designs did gain popularity very quickly and the proof is that we're still wearing their pieces today. Later on, I think in 2003, their son Evan joined the company. So he began by basically designing the men's collection. He also oversaw the, I believe, the wedding collection and he was the one who kind of, in, well not kind of, he did introduce fine jewelry to the company. So the company did start making pieces in full 18 karat gold, whether it be yellow gold, uh, white gold or rose gold. And today he is the president of David Yerman. So he kind of take over, took over or is in the midst of taking over the whole company from his parents and he's doing a great job at it. Now David Yerman, their signature piece is really the cable bracelet and what it is is basically it's made of sterling silver and it's a double there it's a double helix kind of twisted upon itself and the, to make a bracelet and the caps of the bracelet can be adorned with different colored gemstones whether it be blue topaz, praseolite, morganite, you name it, pearls, turquoise. The first cable bracelet actually came out in the 80s and is still made today so we can see how much of a hit it was and David Yerman jewelry is easily recognized when you do see the cable bracelet whether it be the bracelet the earrings the necklaces there's a good chance it's David Yerman fun fact the first cable bracelet was actually made handmade by David Yerman himself he basically hand twisted two 50 foot wires of sterling silver to make the bracelet so Props to him because it doesn't sound that easy to do. David Yerman jewelry and David Yerman himself is also known for being the first major luxury or the first major jewelry designer to use mixed metals. So he basically mixes in his pieces. In one piece, you can have sterling silver mixed with gold. So you can have some sterling silver components, some gold, 18 karat or 14 karat gold components, which is very cool. And he was actually the first also to kind of set diamonds onto sterling silver. Before him, that was never done, so he is a pioneer in that realm of jewelry making. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you all. I did unbox it, I have worn this before, but for the video's sake, I decided to wrap it up again and just unbox it. So it did come wrapped like this, which is very cute. So I decided to get the cable bracelet with the blue topaz tips, as you can see. And I decided to go for this bracelet in particular just because it is a classic for David Yerman. When I start introducing new designers or new fashion houses or whatever into my collections, I do really tend to go for their classic or signature pieces just because it's kind of just like having a piece of history or of the company's history in your hands, so. And I love it, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it dressed up, so I have nothing to complain or say about that. And the reason why I did decide to go for David Yerman at this stage, I've been a David Yerman fan for such a long time, ever since high school. And for one reason or another, it was very popular when I was in high school, a lot of people or girls my age had David Yerman jewelry. But for one reason or another, I just didn't get my hands on any pieces. 
and I kind of over time just forgot about David Yerman and I was a couple of months back I was shopping at Holt Renfrew and in Holt Renfrew in Montreal they do have a David Yerman boutique so I decided just for curiosity to stop by and my love for David Yerman just kind of re-blossomed and I just had to get my hands on a piece and I couldn't stop thinking about their cable bracelets that was the bracelet I really wanted when I was in high school so I finally just got my hands on one and I couldn't be happier. Let's take a closer look now to just to see exactly what I got. So before I give you a close up of the bracelet, let me just show you what the bracelet or anytime you purchase jewelry from, from David Yerman, what it comes with. So you do get a travel bag in this like suede brown material. It does say David Yerman at the front. As well, you do get this kind of like pochette or information pochette as I like to call it one side comes with the cleaning cloth it also does come with this QR code and what it basically the QR code does basically send you to a link that explains how to take care of your jewelry or, and how to clean it as well so that's always useful to have and in this black envelope is the receipt i won't take out the receipt just because it's not that interesting to be honest so there you have it now for the bracelet the most exciting part so here it is so this is the, the double helix I was talking to you about. It's kind of twisted upon itself to make a bracelet. Now this bracelet is four millimeters. David Yerman does make bracelets of a variety of different thicknesses. It, they go from 2.6 millimeters up to 10 millimeters. The bigger ones are, or thicker ones are usually for men, but they do have a couple for women. Just don't forget to take a look at their website to see what I'm talking about. Now the tips are blue topaz. As you can see, I've been on a blue kick for a, quite a while. If you see the background, if you saw the background before with my blue pillows and blue bedspread. And the tips are in 18 karat yellow gold. So that's yellow gold. What I did notice about the topazes is they do tend to change color depending on the lighting. As you can see, when it's a little darker or somber outside or on gray days mostly, the blue is darker and richer and the stone is just more pigmented as you can see here. And on sunnier days or really bright days or really bright lighting, the blue does seem or become a little more transparent, more lighter. It almost looks clear. That's what I love about the bracelet. So let me just get that to focus for you all. As you can see, there are some inscriptions inside. There's an M on this side. However, my bracelet, this bracelet, let me just show you like that is a size small. They do come in different sizes. This particular cable bracelet comes in size extra small, small, medium, and large. This one is a small for reference just because I have tiny wrists, but the extra small would have been too tight. I'll try it on later on just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But as you can see, there is some engraving. The, there is an M on this side. I really don't know what it stands for or what it means. And on the other side, you do have some inscriptions indicating that it is sterling silver and 18 karat gold at the tips. So as to remove it and take that, take it off again, as I told you before, I do wear this all the time. However, I do take it off when I take a shower just to preserve its to preserve it as much as possible to show as least as possible any signs of wear but to put it on you basically just put your wrist like that and just squeeze it on it comes on very easily there's no scratching it's not really that hard you don't have to force that much and you kind of can make it a little smaller i'm 
I do squeeze it to make it smaller, but I make sure not to make the two, the blue topazes or the gemstones touch just because I don't want the tips to get ruined. And for those of you who aren't a fan of blue topazes, well, they do have, like I mentioned, a variety of different other stones. They do also have some bracelets with no gemstones at all. It's just basically sterling silver or gold, 18 karat gold. So as you can see, I do wear it layered or stacked with a watch at all times, and this is how it looks. I did decide to go for the blue topazes because I'm not wearing one today, but I do have a couple of Cartier watches, and I thought it would look beautiful. The blue topaz will look beautiful with the blue hands and blue sapphire crown of Cartier watch it, of the Cartier watches. So that's how they do look together. And the, to take it off, it's just as easy. You kind of just twist your arm like this and kind of pull it off like that. As you can see, I am a little red, but it really doesn't hurt. It really is very easy, so don't let that fool you. And there you have it. That's my David Yerman bracelet. So this exact model I got does go for 675 Canadian plus tax. The price may vary a bit depending on the type of gemstone you choose for the tips. I believe the Morganite is a little bit pricier for some reason. But take a look on their website. They have tons of options, tons of variations, and the prices may vary. So take a look what fits your budget, what fits your taste, what fits your style. I'm sure you'll find something that will really catch your eye. So for the pros and cons of, of this bracelet, honestly, I don't really have any cons just yet. I just, I'm in love with my piece and I can't think of any negative or less positive points to this bracelet. So for the pros, I love that it, it is a stackable bracelet. So you can either stack it with other cable bracelets like this from David Yerman or non-cable bracelets from David Yerman. You can stack it with watches like I usually do. You can stack it with just other bracelets in general that you may have. I love the pops of color because of the gemstone tips. It makes it fun, young, vibrant, and it seems like a very durable bracelet. I've worn it every day. I don't take it off unless, I do take it off to shower, I will be honest, but other than that, I never take it off. And honestly, there's no signs of wear whatsoever. The, because of the double helix, I, I feel like because it's like twist, it's very thin and twisted upon itself, you don't really see any scratches or, or marks or s not stains, but any signs of wear whatsoever. The tips are in mint condition. The gemstones are great as well. And over time, if you do want to kind of, you can take it into David Yerman to kind of get it steamed and it kind of just cleans the whole bracelet and almost makes it look like new again, and shiny and everything. So that's something you can do. I also love that it's such a fun, cool bracelet. You can wear it casual, but you can also dress it up. I mean, I see this myself wearing this with a dress or to fancier events, but I do also keep it on on the weekends when I'm wearing either a jogging suit or just some a t-shirt and some jeans. So it's very versatile and so far so good. I can't wait to add more to my collection. I do want to stack this one one day. So maybe with the Prasiolite or with a green stone. That's my goal for now, or that's what I want to do for now, but we'll see. But I can't wait. I'm so happy I rediscovered David Yerman, and I can't wait to add more pieces to my collection. So I will link the website down below. I will link the exact page or the exact bracelet down below as well for those of you who are interested. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.